Welcome everyone, we are once again here back playing Skyrim. In today's video I have three mods to show you, all lure friendly mods centering around the giants that roam the tundra protecting their herds of mammoths. Two of these mobs will give us a lure friendly gap that has existed for more than a decade. Where are the female giants we've asked? Now we finally have giantesses and giant younglings. Finally the giant family will be complete. Another mod that brings us a much larger male mammoth and also calves to the game. Let's take a look at the male giants. The original game has three variants of giants whose only difference is the clothes each one wears. Male giant variety mod replaces two of these, namely the two with less clothes on, with two new variants but keeping the same style originally planned by the developers. Also for more immersive purposes and realism, they paid special attention in creating this mod to the detail making each of the adult male variants appear to be in a certain age range distinct from the age range of the older one. And now we have giant younglings. When a giant child reaches a certain age, adults begin to pair the youngling for adult life obligations. The young males are then brought to the lower areas to to the province to the tundra taken down by the old males to their mammoth camps to teach the young giant to be an adult and this finally abandoning their protection of the mountains where they were born and spent their early years and of course now we also have the female giants Ob observation and study of these giantesses is not an easy task for the young scholars since they live in a place that are extremely difficult to access and the few that do venture down to the giant's grazing fields do so only to those locations in the snowy peaks and are always protected by the older male giants. Now both of these mods are easy to install. They don't require any other mods to install and both give a great deal of variation to the game. So I do like having the younglings. I like seeing the females and the males in the game. It gives it a little bit more variety. Let's take a look at the Mammoth expansion made by the same author. Two new creatures are introduced to the game, the Male Mammoth and the Mammoth Calf. So the Vanilla Mammoths were Tame and Wild variants, both have been renamed to Female Mammoth. A new miscellaneous item has been added, the Male Mammoth Tusk. And the Vanilla Mammoth Tusk has been renamed to Female Mammoth Tusk and retextured to 4K resolution. A retextured of the vanilla mammoth snout and mammoth steak foods have also been added. While the tame females usually live around the giant's camps, grazing in small groups, taking care of their mammoth calves, the males, however, are much larger and with a more aggressive and territorial behavior. They prefer to live in solitary lives in the remote and isolated areas in the icy tundra north of some of these camps. It took me quite a bit of searching to find some of these isolated males, but they are there. And I'll show you a location where I found not one, but two of these giant male mammoths. So in the description of the mod, it said the males travel around the frozen tundra. So north of White Run, just south of Dawnstar, near the giant camp called Blizzard Rest, I found two massive male mammoths. So one was just south of Blizzard Rest, kind of in the forest area, but not quite in the ice. The other one was in the icy snow mix. Both of these males were alone, but they were both close to Blizzard Rest. Maybe one of the females were in heat and they were coming down out of their isolation to make the next generation of mammoth calves. Now the males are quite massive. They are much larger than the vanilla mammoths in the game. I was kind of shocked to see one roll by on my horse and he still just dwarfed me. Now you know I like to bow hunt and I played Call of the Wild for several years along with Skyrim. So I just had to get out the bow and go hunt some of these mammoths. So I have to pull out the dragon bone bow even with my enchanted items that I have that increases my bow abilities still took several shots to bring down this big male. So if you notice their heads are shaped a little bit different, their ears are much bigger, plus they're like twice the size of the females. They do not have any carvings on their tusks. 
So if you like hunting these massive woolly mammoths in Skyrim as much as I do, and seeing the giants protect them, the giants put up a great fight, especially when you're just starting out in Skyrim. These are some must-have mods. I'm always on the lookout for some of these mods that add a little extra lure-friendly details to the game, some new textures. I guess I wasn't the only one who was tired of seeing these giants roaming the tundra all alone by themselves, having the younglings around and the female giantesses just adds a little bit of extra that we've always been looking for in Skyrim. So we'll put links to all the mods in the description below. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Do me a big old favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on playing Skyrim, stay happy, and I'll see y'all next time.